And so this new music video that you just made must be mm-hmm. for a new song. It is. Yep, yeah, it's the title track. It's the title track. It's, the title it's track. called Traumantic. That's Traumantic. the record. It's about trauma and romance. That's perfect. And that word, mm-hmm. trauma, is really becoming a very popular word mm. and it describes something well it's very... going back to like a very woman's time and i really i really hate to do this to these guys do i it. hate to like you know like put them in this like position of being like seen as like a a female band or like a female fronted or we're a female band, band. yeah <laughs> well no i mean i mean the, if you think about it essentially the songwriting is from a woman's perspective and very much about i mean this whole record is about sexual abuse and, and abuse of relationship my relationship to myself in terms of how like i've been treated by men and like my family for my whole life like it's it's in like i wrote it because i was in therapy so mm-hmm. like that shit is obviously going to come off as like very like a very feminine and intensely feminine perspective. So like it's it's kind of a weird balance for me to know that like two thirds of my band are not women and don't share the same experience and don't have the same. Maybe they don't share it exactly, but I bet there's an analog, and it might help. It might help to have them to. So I don't I won't have that experience either as a listener, right? But if you have if you have a couple guys who true. are like I understand what this song is from from the point that I'm able to understand it and I'm going to contribute this to it because I you exactly, know it yeah. might it might yeah. help yeah, it exactly. might help, you know. Yeah. I mean translate. I just always feel I just always feel weird like kind of like pulling them into cuz like a lot of people are going to focus on the lyrics and hear that as like what the song is so it's like I feel like I maybe pull them into a specific I feel that but like lens I think it's fine it's I mean what if like a movie about World War II about soldiers there weren't really any women yeah but <laughs> you know you might want women on the on the payroll on the crew. <laughs> you know like yeah, you yeah. know like you might <laughs> you might it might help to have yeah. to have that that sort of perspective I think it's I think it's good I think it it helps with encouraging empathy without without uh disrespecting the experience right i like how you said the um empathy thing because like there are lines in the songs we're about to put out that like i i can pretty confidently say like if you're you know a heterosexual man in a relationship like some of the lines in the songs you can identify with like immediately there's one of the songs that we play it's almost our opener every show right now the first line in the song is, you know, he said not to lie if you don't come, you know, C-U-M come, come, you know, and that's just like, I Guys don't know. You can't hide that. You like, can't, you can't hide there's from no that. There's no way to, there's like no that, way. That's like a part of masculinity that's just like, I'm only going to feel like a man if I know I did this thing for you, you know, it's fucked up and it's, it's not right or wrong. It's just how it's written. And it's like. <laughs> Like no longer, or, or it doesn't matter what gender you identify with or which gender you were born with and you still identify with. Like if you are listening to that song and you hear that, it's just like, damn, like, like at least for me, like when I, when I play to that song and I hear that line and like, that's like what I base the tempo off of, like right before we play it, I'm like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm like humming, <laughs> humming that line out. And I'm just like, getting a like, little preview of the song here. Yeah. Then, it's yeah. like, I mean, that it just hits me at a place. It's just like. You know, I can think of like my younger self, like trying to have sex and like think of myself as like, okay, this is your shot. (laughs) Like, don't fuck this up. Don't come before your partner. Make sure she comes. Like, do anything to make sure that she doesn't go home and tell her friends like, I fucked John and it sucked. Yeah. (laughs) You know? (laughs) Yep. <laughs> rather than just enjoying this moment yep. with somebody yeah. and it's, it's like it, and it, there is that hell of like are you lying yeah are you lying to me like <laughs> hey if you don't come let me know i i can i can do this for you i, yeah. I you know i it's like yeah which, which is the worst thing to do by the way yeah. like yeah like that that response not gonna make a girl <laughs> no. reach anything yeah you know? no. <laughs> but i can't believe i'm gonna go here because i've i'm sure you've brought it up a million times you know there there is the whole sigourney weaver thing oh but yeah like, but i was gonna i was gonna mention alien has a similar thing 
it has a female protagonist mm-hmm. and a lot of the like what the uh <laughs> subtext of that movie is very feminine yeah you know like they called one of the rooms the womb room. Mm-hmm. It's very much like a kind of fear of pregnancy type thing, right. of un- like an unwanted pregnancy almost. Like that's like the right. alien inside, and uh, and yet you know, dudes love that movie. Yeah, dudes. <laughs> I I'd never drawn that parallel before or, either, but that's very interesting. It's, well, I think it's similar. Me. It's a it's a that movie would never work without a female protagonist. Right. It had to be a female protagonist. Just like it seems like this this album has to have a female yeah, yeah. lead singer and writer of these tough yeah, topics. Yeah, it's a weird it's a weird place for me to be in because I feel like I'm like like shit I couldn't even say I'm now like expressing through. Is that music. scary? Yeah, it's fucking <laughs> terrifying. Especially thinking about it dropping. Especially like I've really I've really kind of I'm in a position of like having cut off my family. Like I don't associate with them anymore really. Um, so, and they may even fucking listen to this and they might not know why, but like, I hope they'll take a moment to listen to the record. Like it's just kind of this whole like moment in my life where I'm like, Oh, okay. This is, yeah, this is what I need to do. I think it's brave uh, and courageous, but also like there's, there's, the reason I use those words is because I think what people don't often connect is uh, you can't be brave without vulnerability. And that's what you're doing mm. is you are allowing yourself to be vulnerable. And, Super vulnerable. Yeah. But a lot of the greatest art comes from a place yeah. of, I, I would argue all of it comes from a place of vulnerability. It's the only way we really know how to connect mm. to another person. You know, like... You and I can be out somewhere having a great time and, and we'll connect in some way. But if if you or I tell you something awful of my life, mm-hmm. we might connect in a way that is is very real. Yeah, I'm being super candid with a lot of stuff too, and it's not like you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about with these like with the shit. <laughs> Cause switch they switch shirts. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, you got us. <laughs> Boys are back and they switch shirts. <laughs> but yeah, like I'm not not I'm not masking anything with it. So it's like it's I'm just kind of feeling very strange and nervous about the upcoming release because it's like it's called traumatic because it's literally about like my childhood sexual abuse and the lens of my life ever since that happened to like look around and be like, oh, this is how I relate to the world. The, these are the things that I fucked up because I got I got into a dark place from that. I was like drunk forever. Like Jesse and I actually were in a relationship, and he was just watching me like self destruct, fucking kill myself for a long time, which I'm sure really sucked for him. And I'm glad that we're still yeah, good so. friends. And <laughs> yeah, wow. But so, yeah, so this is like this whole, this whole fucking record is just like whoa, like I can only imagine i want to know why like so i understand that the beginning of the word the trauma why romantic like what what is that because when something like that happens to you like you in it like you need to rationalize your world through like how do, how does a man feel about me how does how like how do i get like validation for myself or or conversely there's another way to deal with it is like which I did both simultaneously was like how can I control what happened to me with by making it happen again in a way that I'm saying okay I made this happen so I can be like the one in power so that's so that's the this is, romantic I get it I yeah. do get that wow wow yeah there's the also the oh, um I'm sure you have had that moment where you realize I am more comfortable with what I can't stand mm-hmm. about oh, for everything. Sure. For sure. And I keep doing it because it's what I know. And I don't know what it means to be treated like a good person. Yeah. Like a good all person. the time. So, Still, I'm like, I don't know. I'm not really sure what that. Like, I think uh, we have a line in one of the upcoming songs that start me off, boys. That 
<laughs> no, play it. Ski play it, boy. Boob up, yeah. <laughs> no, no. The the lyric is something like, and I think it's to me, it's like one that really sticks out to me as like, okay, this is what this record means is like something about like being like preyed upon in a situation and then like maybe that was why I fell for the guy who hit me in the eye, but it felt like pure love. Like, and that's a very true, like, that's very fucking true, and it's very honest. Like, I genuinely mean that. Like, it's like, the, these situations happened to me, so, like, getting into an abusive relationship was something that made sense because it was like, oh, yeah, this is familiar. This makes sense to me. Like, I should be here. This is what I want to have happen. So I made that. I created that. And this is, like, a few years before Candy Ambulance, so... So I had like come off that and like got into this, which is good. That was a good thing. And, then, and it's been my like therapeutic way of dealing with that since. 